What are you looking to solve when you are talking about the problem? One of the elements of the problems is to define what is a problem. In this session, we are going to talk about how you find what are the elements of the problem statement description. The very first thing we do is very, very easy. It's why we don't get into Google, ask for that, and we start looking and are described in a simple way is the first step, the first step that you can use to define what is your problem statement. I love, I love this because you get a lot of options that you can really evaluate. For in the problem statement, you can see that there are three, te three areas or three key, point, key points. That is the context, the problem, and the solution. How you want to do this is, is important, and, and you really can get a lot of information that describe the elements of the problem, what are the elements that describe the destabilization moment to find the importance, the value, and the difficulties that you need to face. Then, which ones are the Maybe you have a solution, or maybe like this time, I am, I am asking you to find how to uh, get a solution to write a problem statement. And then you get examples and some reference. From there, the obvious choice for a lot of uh, ways at times is jump into the problem statement in Wikipedia and figure out a lot of things about that. That, for some people, is very uh, trivial. Uh, Wikipedia may or not may be the best choice for a reference, but always is going to be a choice where you get a lot of information. Then, for instance, I found this one that I really like it, how to write a problem statement. And you start reading about this problem, find the problem definition, the typical exercise of the five whys, the why. Most important, what is a sample that you can use as, as, a reference, as a reference? Here you can see that there is a lot of information about the value, the importance, the context, where it's used. And this information comes from a template that you can use perfectly as a reference. From there, you can jump and see, okay, scopes and deliverables, what is the things that you want to use during the project development to solve the problem. Or maybe you get in, in some example like this, then you say, okay, how to write a problem statement for a specifically Six Sigma. All these are tremendous tools that really use it in a different ways and keep going to do into very, very simple way how to manage the way to write a problem statement.